Good morning. Welcome back. <laughs> Here we go again. I know. We've just had a weekend at White Mead. It's um, a nice cheeky little site that we quite like going to, isn't it? Yeah, in the Forest of Dean. They've got an indoor swimming pool. It's one of the kids' favourites. They do love going there. So It's one of my favourites as well. Because <laughs> they do breakfast. They do breakfast, which have just stuffed our faces. They do hot tubs. They've got a sauna. They've got a swimming pool. It is a nice cheeky site. Forest of yeah. Dean. Loads of cycle tracks around. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it is one of our favourite sites. So Don't let everyone go now, though, because there'll be no space for us when we want to hop on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are, as you probably may have guessed from our last video, we are yeah. heading over to Europe in a few days. But as we head down to Dover, we actually need to go back to South Wales. We're yeah. picking up the motor home. Yes, we're getting rid of it. It's going back to the dealer. We've negotiated a deal with them, so they're having it. And then we're heading to Folkestone. So we're about to hit the road and yeah. let's get back to Bridgend again. I know. I, I, we, uh, we're trying to get away and it keeps pulling us back. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, literally. No. So, but there's a couple of things on them at home that we want to take off, isn't there? There's our tellies and the gas slow system and yeah. some bits. So, yeah, we need to pop them into storage and then we're going to head down. So, let's get on with it. Let's hit the road. Hello, <laughs> we're here. So back at the motor home, Stu's got to go in and take some tallies out and take the gas low off. Yeah, I think we'll go to storage first. Take this down to the storage where my tools are. I'll quickly take them off. They can all go straight into storage and then we can hit the road left. Job done. Job done. Enjoy Sheila for the last time. So we've just come to our storage unit that we kept the motorhome in. We're just going to return all our keys and finalise all that contract with them. And then we've got to go over to our other storage unit where we've got our tools and we've got like some bits and bobs, furniture and that just stored there because obviously we haven't got the house to go to. But yeah, it's, it's actually quite a nice feeling realising that we're going to get rid of one of those direct debits each month now and we're just going to reduce it to one storage unit, one van and one car and that's it. So um, yeah, it's been the last couple of weeks we have had a few other things to sort out, like Stu still had his works van, so we've managed to get rid of that as well. So yeah, we're slowly but surely whittling everything down just before we hit Europe. So fingers crossed, we will get there this weekend with all these stressy little final bits all sorted out. So looking forward to that. Yay. Check us your white card boat. There you go. Do you want me, if you go get your iPhone cable, if you get one of the boys to grab your iPhone cable and you plug it in up there, it'll make you have Apple Play up there. <laughs> so Stu's adamant that all the extras that we've put on the van are coming off, so I can't blame him, we've spent a few quid on those. It's uh, going to be be a three hour journey now. Yeah, they're all that. Yeah. Well, there she is, bless her. We've had some good times in here though, love. That was one mammoth drive. It took me like four hours to get from South Wales down to Poole where we needed to drop off the motorhome. Stu's just in now sorting out the final details of that and um, I'm going to let him take over basically. So in fairness to him, I don't know how he does it because he drove this morning from ross on Y down to South Wales and then we jumped straight back in and carried on driving. So we haven't stopped all day and we need to go to Tesco's as well or something similar to get some food. We're literally down to our bare bones on the van at the minute. We do need to obviously stock up as well for Saturday when we get on the ferry. So I usually take some little bits across 
you know your tinned foods and things like that Oliver's quite fussy with his food so I do try and keep the food that he likes really just to not have so much drama and stress when we get over there especially as France aren't very good with things like baked beans so um, yeah I always uh, stock up and get a couple of those and Stu moans because he doesn't get his cheddar so I always get a big block of that as well cheddar fingers crossed uh, this evening will be nice and chilled and uh, we'll have some good news and stuff like that. I'm just waiting for Stu to come back now. Once he's back he can take over the driving and uh, we can get going. It's getting dark now and I'm not a big fan of dark driving. Gosh I do sound like I'm moaning quite a lot actually but yeah I, I don't really like driving this without him here next to me so I find it quite difficult and obviously more tiring because I'm concentrating and uh, on the way down here when I was sort of going on the M5 as I was joining an extra bit of road this black car decided it was just going to pull out as if I wasn't even there so um, that forced me then into the right hand lane so yeah that's kept me on edge for the best part of the journey today anyway I'm going to get moving from here because I'm not sure I'm allowed to park here either so that's not good Amelia's been good as gold, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Bribed her with some fruit pastels and a fruit shoot on the way down. <laughs> so yeah, I need to get these kids fed too. So, gotta get moving. So we've just hit Tesco's now. We're gonna nip in, we're gonna grab some food. Something for lunch for tonight, is there some breakfast? Yeah, and then we'll have to discover where we're gonna sleep tonight. I know a good parking spot. When we came back from Croatia, remember there was that spot about five miles north of you but it was tucked in, it was nice on the Hidden side. Away. Yeah, I could give that a try, couldn't we? We'll have a look. Hopefully it's quiet. We're but... Our electric's full, toilet's empty, so there's no point at this time of night paying to go on a campsite. So yeah, we're gonna find a nice little wild spot for tonight. Out of the way, cook some good food. Yeah. Get our heads down and Starving. figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. I know, yeah, that's the other thing. We've got a few days now until we board the ferry, haven't we? So yeah. gotta keep ourselves amused. Yeah. But what we are going to do, because a lot of people are asking us for various different products that we've obviously bought throughout the van builds, we are going to compile a list for everybody, so hopefully what you ask for is on the list. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff and people are trying to say like where did we get it from and I can't remember off the top of my no, head. So I'm going to have to just go find them, I'm going to put them all onto a list and we'll put a link in in our descriptions. So we found our wild spot, um, I've just got back now, we're going to empty all our goodies from the supermarket shop. <laughs> goodies. I say goodies because it was goodies galore, it was like, look all these Smart. sweets. And, and I've even got an apple crumble because I remember there was custard in the cupboard. Oh, that looks destroyed. It probably is destroyed. We've just gone around some corners and I felt the bags just flying around the place because normally I put them away and this oh. time I haven't bothered so. Have to fix that one. And I got my little Skittles. Yeah, Skittles. You're a good girl when you all the journey down, yeah? So yeah. we were like, let's have a treat. Yeah, so we're about six miles north of Poole. Um, off the beaten track a little bit but it's pitch black around here so nice and dead i'll show you in the morning because yeah. you won't see nothing tonight yeah the boys are in silly mode you can probably hear them laughing and joking in the background they're having a bit of a scrap um so food wise we've got a bit of a feast tonight so i'm gonna put all this away and then i'm gonna get cooking so we're just gonna bed down have some grub and then we'll show you where we are in the morning before we start making our way over to Folkestone. so last night was fun i didn't get any sleep whatsoever and spent the night smashing my face in on the cupboards above my head because I kept forgetting that they were there every time I rolled over, which was really fun. We've still got some sleepers in the house. It's quite early, it's about quarter to eight. Um, Pebbles is chilling by the window. He's dis discovered all the wildlife to be had outside, I think, and all that exploring that he's missing out on. We've got Amelia. And I'm making a little story, like a bedtime story for someone special. That's really cute. And I'm making her crepes and grapes for breakfast. Also about to have a cup of coffee. I would say it's to wake up, but I'm already awake, obviously. So it's more like to keep me going for the rest of the day. But um, once everyone's up, we're going to get ready and make our way over towards Folkestone. Just going to show you where we slept last night. So this is all the nature side that uh, Pebbles you just seen in the window was looking at. There we are. So a bit of woodland by there. There is a busy road. To be fair, last night that was really quiet. We didn't hear anything. Um, and as I say, I was up all night. We did just have a couple of people just sat by here and they've just now gone. And there's a walkway down there. It was 
quite peaceful last night, even though I was awake all night. I got a little bit spooked, don't know why. But um, yeah, I think it was the forest behind the van maybe. Not sure. But anyway, peaceful. So yeah, it's on park for night if you want to stop by here. Once everyone wakes up, we're gonna clean the, well I'm gonna clean the van, but when everyone wakes up, we're gonna then head off over to Folkestone area and just basically hang around then until it's time for us to head on over to the ferry. There are some things that we wanna sort out, um, you know, just admin stuff and, you know, a bit of shopping before we leave. So, you know, there's plenty for us to be getting on with. But as I say, I need my cup of coffee before I can even think of any of that. The kids are already on their schoolwork. They've stuffed their faces with a really healthy breakfast this morning. We've had finger buns, crepes and grapes. So, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say right now. I'm just absolutely shattered. <laughs> Catch up in a bit. So that was our park up. Now we've actually realised we need to do a bit of laundry this morning. So we've just found one of those revolution machines, you know the ones that are outside? And that's seven miles away. So we're gonna get down there, just get the, all the laundry done. And I think we're gonna start heading over to Folkestone. We've made, we've done an Amazon delivery as well and they're doing it in one of those drop boxes and we've not done that before either oh, have that'll we? that'll be interesting then. So that will be interesting. But one of the things I have bought is we've noticed the lighting on this fan is absolutely atrocious and I went onto some forums and yeah, apparently it's quite common on the VW crafters. I don't know if it's the same for all the VWs, but yeah, the lighting is really bad. So we've ordered some H7 bulbs, they're supposed to be a lot brighter, they're still within the legal parameters, but we're finding with the lights that are on you, not including our headlights, you know your normal sort of main lights, you'd lighten up about 10 foot in front of you and that's it, and we were driving down some dark lanes and I literally couldn't even see an upcoming bend, it was really bad, so yeah, we're going to upgrade those, and there's a few other bits, but we'll show oh, you when we get them. iPhone chargers definitely got to be on that list. Yes, I got some more iPhone chargers, so the kids go through an abundance, like, the amount of iPhone cables they go through is unreal, we've tried everything, we've tried expensive ones, and they didn't even last 24 hours right, we tried the cheap ones just buying them in big multi-packs we've tried originals we even tried the magnetic ones which again i can make last mine's still working none of the all these have stopped working none of them were broken but just stopped working so like, what are you doing to them i still have mine yes i've given her a new magnetic one two days ago let's see how long that one lasts so yeah we'll show you all that when we get there but for now Let's get to the laundromat, is it? And mine is on completely one charge. One. Beautiful one. <laughs> so we just pulled into a Taxco to do our laundry. We stopped off, we had a chat with uh, somebody who pointed at us and went, you're the rolling ruck. So <laughs> that was really nice. Didn't catch your name. So here's a cheeky snap that we took at the petrol station. Thanks for saying hi, it was really kind of you. We've got the laundry to do, so it's gonna be about an hour and a half of our life that we're not gonna get back. Uh, yes, but it's, it's our weekly duty, isn't it? Gotta be done. We'll so. get on top of it before we hit the road, isn't it? That's right, we've got about four days waiting around in Folkestone, so I might even convince the man but to get myself some new nails. Uh, Go pick up the animal health certificate and a couple of wild, sp wild spots, and it? Try and keep costs down. Yeah, I think we'll combine the two, innit? Yeah, man. Okay, so it's finished. It did take about an hour and a half. Um, we always use the £10, the large one. So it's like three washes and one for a tenner. And then it normally takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to do our drying. Um, but we like these ones. They're easy because it means you can just pull up outside, which we are here. And they're right here. So it's a lot less stress. Um, the last, Although the last time I did do it, it was thunder and lightning and I did blow wash it all down the street, which was a bit embarrassing. So. We do like these ones where you can pull up next to them and just wait it out basically. So we've sat in the van, we've had a cup of coffee. So yeah, we're just gonna make our way on the road now once this is uh, all folded and put away. We made it to Folkestone. We did a cheeky little park up last night, which was just behind a Morrison's. It was on park for night. Today, we've basically taken the van for a car wash. Stu's planning to put us on a campsite later and he wants to wax the whole of the outside of the van. So <laughs> leave him, leave him crack on if that's what he wants to do. Me and the kids, on the other hand, are just going to be grateful because we can go and have proper showers. And I don't want to shower. You don't want to shower? No. Stinky. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, once we've all had a shower and stuff, we're pretty much ready for the ferry, but we've got to wait a day or two because the ferry's not booked till Saturday and Pebbles' AHC can't be collected till Friday. So we're only on Wednesday now, so <laughs> we've literally just been amusing ourselves. Just set, found an Argos and just sent you in to get another GoPro, so we haven't got the excuse anymore of the GoPro run out, so it means that we've got one each. That'll be us this afternoon. We'll have two GoPros to work on, which should be handy. We always find that this one, the battery kind of either dies or what we forget and we leave the Volta plugged in and then that'll waste all the battery and uh, we'll go and use it and we're like starting talking and then it cuts off or I've had to use my phone and then that's not been very good for visual for you guys because I've got a bit of a blurry camera I do need a new phone but I'm trying to hold out till September when Apple release their new one but um I don't know this one's battered so I don't know how long I'm gonna get out of it but here he comes I'll just show you now because he's looking very pleased with himself look at this See, told you we'd be smug. We got there then, love. What? What you treated yourself to? Treated myself to? Treated us. To be fair, we need it. Another camera. <laughs> so yeah, we use GoPros. We're using the GoPro 10 at the moment, but there's so many times it's like, oh, we need another one. You know, it's just easier to have one mounted and one at hand. So get another one. Yep. Things we do for you, aye. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the new updated one, so we found the 10. Is it it's the quite, new one? Yeah, it's the 11. Is that the one I just found? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I found that a good price then, actually. Yeah, I was happy with it. What was it? But like? to be fair, we, you know, my, own, my biggest disappointment with GoPro is actually the software side is crap, isn't it? Like we've had so many glitches with them with all the different products we have mm. from them. The Volta I found is the worst. The Volta was terrible. But the camera itself is really good because it gives us a nice wide lens. The stabilization on it is really good. We've got to use an external mic, but the one on the media mod isn't yeah. bad. But again, then to change the battery, you've got to like completely strip the whole thing down to change the battery, which is a bit of a nuisance. But this one comes with the new Enduro battery, which hopefully lasts a bit longer, Lev. Oh, there you are then. So... We'll open that up later in Avagandas. Yeah, nice. I found that literally. We were um, just jumping around the shops, being a bit silly, really, trying to like grab the last little bit, sun cream and stuff. And um, I said to Stu, oh, I wonder to GoPro, can you get them in curries? He said, oh, no, you can't. So I went on to Argos and they had a pretty good deal. I think like the Hero 9 was 340. And then for an extra 50, you could get the 11. So can't really argue with that. But yeah, we're on a campsite today, so I'm going to be able to cook, I'm going to be able to clean, I'm going to be able to have showers for the kiddies. Stu can wax to his heart's content, and uh, I'm going to check out this GoPro. So we've just arrived, we're set up at Black Horse Camping and Caravan Park in Folkestone. Uh, we're going to have some showers here today, and I was going to do a nice big meal, but... I don't know if you remember from the Christmas vlogs, where I mentioned to you that I had bought a load of pans, basically, from Asda's and I believe they were induction hobs. So they are, but only one of them was working, the frying pan. So I've been having to do like all my veggies in frying pan and stuff, which has been okay. But you know, if you want to boil an egg or you want to do anything big bigger than a pea, then you need a pot. So yesterday, Stu goes into Morrison's and picks up this pot. He says, love, it's aluminium, it's definitely gonna work. So I've just pulled it out to try it. And it does say on here, clearly, suitable for all hobs excluding induction so i've just gone to show him now and he doesn't believe me he's like oh it's aluminium it's still gonna work but i don't know i'm at i'm at the view i'm gonna leave the cellophane on and, and take that back and get my 12 quid back to be honest rather than try it as Stu's just suggested i try it but obviously once you try it you can't return it so what do you think guys leave a comment below for me yeah in support charlie but yeah, I'm fuming because now I can't cook anything because we've driven past the Littles that he said he was going to stop at because he was in such a hurry, right? So this is what he's wanted to do, right? All day. Look at this. Just call him the karate kid. Wax on. Wax off, yeah. I want to protect the paintwork now. It's not had a waxing since it's been done. So we've taken it for a nice jet wash, given her a nice clean, get it waxed now and just help protect it. Yeah, fair enough, babe. But you still didn't stop at Littles for the food. I'm going to go to the local shop, although there is a pub out here as well on the main road, the Black Horse pub, so you spied that, did you? I may as well just go down there, to be honest, and sit and hide until I'm ready to go to France, to be honest, because I'm getting more and more fed up. I hate waiting around. <laughs> Stu's busy in himself. I've got to clean up, in fairness, this place is a dumping ground. 
kids are charging all their iPads and stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what else I got actually. When we went last time, we didn't have a rug because our awning one was too big. So I've just found this one. It was £12 from Home Bargain. So I'm going to give that a try. It's perfect for like if you've got dusty sites or whatever and you can't really sit and the kids like to lie down on their bellies and colour and things like that. So they'll have somewhere to go. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, it's now going to be mission food. Uh, not really sure how I'm going to cook it. I've cleaned the Ninja this morning, so I didn't really want to use that, but I guess I'm going to have to. And we've still got the GoPro to open up and have a little smooch at that. So I think I'll let Stu go through that with you while I get on with some cleaning. <laughs> okay, so this place is now nice and clean. I've made food for everybody. I didn't think that you really want to see me cooking bacon sandwiches again, so, but that's what we had, bacon sandwiches and a cup of coffee and it was lovely. Stu, half arse did the van. <laughs> no, to be fair, it's actually too cold out there for the wax. It's not misting over for me to wipe it off. So I'll revisit it when we're somewhere sunny. You half assed it, don't lie. You've made us drive around for hours searching for a jet wash to come back here to do it, and then you were like, oh, it's too cold, and then you chickened no, out the van. The van still needed a clean. Okay. So um, that's been done. But okay. anyway. Let's get to the GoPro. Come let's on, let's open have a look. this up and have a look. So, what we got in here? Okay. A GoPro. <laughs> hey. hey! So, Type C charger. This I'm keen to have a look at. This is the Enduro battery I was just telling you about and that's supposed to last a lot longer than the original so fingers crossed that does its job we got a mount which we actually really need to mount one up front a gopro that you can't get out it's hey up. well done love All right, let's have a look at him so it's going to look exactly the same as the one we've got yeah it? pretty much welcome mr gopro 11 but looking at it side by side with the 10 looks very similar to be honest with you gopro look at that gopro all right one <laughs> setting up oh well you can crack on with that that'll keep you busy for a few minutes and then you can see he's got his little stand off the bed there that i was showing on our tour video if, which if you haven't seen it go back and have a look this is a cute little device that i think we got from amazon and he just puts his ipad in it it's got a fire stick on the back and it can basically be put anywhere it's a stand or it can be yeah mounted. it has it hasn't got a fire stick on the back um but what it does is it's a stand then these legs come together and they go into a mount which you can put then on the ceiling on a wall so we've actually set it up on the wall in our bedroom so in the nights we can sit that in there that moves up and it just mounts the ipad for us because we've got very limited space it would be really tough for us to get a tv in here not that we watch a great deal anyway but now and again you know if it's a wet night and we do want to watch something then we set that up. Job done, innit, love? Yeah, so while he's setting that up, I think I'm going to get these kids out to play. They have been out. They were out for quite a bit earlier on when I was trying to do some cleaning and stuff. They did complain it was a bit cold. It is quite nippy out there, but whilst they're on a campsite and there's a park nearby, I just want to take full advantage because we're doing a lot less campsites now than we ever have before and i know you know we can go to towns and places like that but i just feel that they get a little bit more freedom on a campsite to be able to go off themselves and give that they've got a bit more independence so yeah they can go out to the park for a bit and um yeah they can come in just before dark it's ferry day we moved the ferry to a day earlier because we couldn't stand being in folkestone for one more day so the weather's been doing nothing but raining and we were like sat around last night thinking why on earth are we waiting for we may as well just see if we can change the book in so it was an extra six pound 40 and it meant we could go a day earlier so we're literally going to go get pebbles ahc certificate this morning and then head straight over to dover right now though we're all bouncing we're all very 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 excited didn't get much sleep last night because obviously just thinking about traveling and for some reason it feels like it's been forever but this place is in a bit of a mess Stu's just taking hey. the covers off. Good morning. It's the day. It's time. And we are looking forward to it, albeit, right? So we know we're heading south. We were looking for sun. That's all we want, sun. We don't care where we're going. And we've thought of about a couple of places. There was talk of sort of Greece area, south of Spain, Morocco, but all come with different problems. So obviously, like the Greece area, you'd actually think would be quite nice this time of year. It's not. You know, they're lucky to get into double figures. So it's like, right, that's that out. Morocco, we fancy Morocco, but 
we think it's too risky to take our kids there and we're not willing to obviously take any risks at all we hear good and bad things about morocco and that sort of region so we're gonna give that a miss yeah we can catch up on that when the kids are older can't we exactly so i think we're gonna be just heading towards the south of spain we fancy in the pyrenees again because the pyrenees were stunning wasn't it yeah, Andorra particularly. Yeah, I love Andorra. So I'm looking really looking forward to going back to see Andorra. We're not going to spend a lot of time in France. Whichever way we go, we're just going to bolt through. Um, I think there'll be some island hopping on the cards, hopefully. Basically, I want to end up back in Italy area. Come here, babe. I'm coming, I'm coming. So, yeah, want to basically mm. end up around Sicily. We wanted to do Pompeii. There's y yeah. Switzerland we haven't seen yet. There's lots and lots. So who knows? It'll just be a case of, I think, going where the sun takes us isn't it well, that's it for now it's with sun chasers yeah that's it it is as simple as that isn't it yeah done with the cold done with the snow. <laughs> yeah. although yesterday i went on to google because somebody had left a comment to say that it's actually snowing in spain so, and there has been there's been, been a big snowstorm that has hit spain we're like hmm yeah literally we wanted we were chasing the snow obviously at christmas time for the kids and now the snow's chasing us. So yeah. but we're, <laughs> we we're chasing the sun. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's fairy day. We did look at the Euro Tunnel, and for us, it's like it's like hundred quid cheaper to take a ferry. So my attitude on that is, you're going to pay me hundred quid for an hour of my time. I'm going to take that. Yeah. Well, I was just letting them know as well that last night we paid six pound forty to update it, so we could go a day early. Because I'm literally. I've, yeah, I've yeah. Well, that's it. We're week, we're ready to go. We're ready to go now. There was no need for us to sort of hang around for another day. We've been waiting for our friends to come. They're here. Everyone's ready. So it was like, let's bring it forward a day. So yeah. So I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna tidy up everyone's breakfast. We're gonna go pick up that animal health certificate. Yeah, and then we're going. And then we're going straight to Dover. So we're not we'll gonna you bore there. you with the cross and anything interesting. We'll show you, but we'll see you on the other side, guys. Those are people followed me. <laughs> We've just got to France and already made epic mistakes just trying to leave the port. We've gone completely the wrong way and you know what it's like we're a bit like sheep when we're abroad so we've now got a tail back of people who've done the same thing as us <laughs> <laughs>